In Denmark we have a word called hygge and it's an interesting term. There isn't really a direct translation for it in English. It it can mean to be cozy, to have a good time. It's to be together with friends, it's to light candles. Um, it's to be like warm and comfortable and snug and yeah, it's just it's a really lovely word and it's very important to Danish culture and it's something I've always been crazy about like ever since I was a child my mom always made our home very hygge which is the term you use to describe uh, like a place that has that very feeling in the evening in my studio I like to light candles and listen to music I enjoy my cats will usually gather around and it's uh, it's very hygge <laughs> And there's another funny expression, or I don't know if it's funny, but uh, if you're obsessed with hygge in Danish culture, you might be a hygge tot, which is, you know, tot means troll, <laughs> so it's like a cozy troll would be a direct translation. And um, I'm very much that, yeah, I, I enjoy hygge, as you can see. <laughs> I've been wanting to do an updated video with a studio tour, but um, since it's evening here, it's kind of hard to see all the things, so I'm going to record a daylight one for you guys. I took down the old video for safety reasons, so I'm going to do a new one for you. But um, this is my space, and uh, there's a big window and a bookshelf with all of my art books, a lot of different art books. Here are some books that I'm currently reading. Um, I'm researching for, I, I got an agent to get well, my own book published, so I'm researching Tony D. Talisi um, to kind of learn about writing and storytelling. This is my scanner, and so here is my bookshelf with my many, many books and knickknacks, and there's a cat tree by the window. The cats like to hang out there during the day. I like to collect little things that just kind of remind me of childhood or remind me of these fantasy worlds that I work within when I'm painting and drawing and creating. So there's a lot of fun little things on my shelves. I really like these mushrooms I found at the um, World Market, I think it's called, the store. Within the last couple of years, it's become very popular for artists to make pins, so I have ended up with a little pin collection. I don't really wear them, so I just stick them into my bookshelf. I made a pin too, which is the frog one that you see here, and other ones are just pins that some of my artist friends have made. And there are some really pretty ones, like the, it's interesting to see what people make with them. I have my bookshelves labeled um, from genre, so here are like fairy tales, there's a shelf for folklore books, there's one for uh, Viking books, and um, here's one with witches and gnomes and fairies, anything fae really. Um, this is a little, it's kind of like a flat file but a small one. Um, it has, I don't know, 20 drawers in it and I use it for storing all of my supplies. Uh, paper supplies, like printing paper and shipping labels and things like that. Here is my drafting table, which is kind of messy right now. And a pile of sketchbooks because I'm working on a sketchbook compilation that's going to be on Kickstarter really soon, so keep an eye out for that. And this is my uh, Cintiq. So this is what I do most of my illustrations on, is that Wacom Cintiq. And here I am working on a new piece for a project called Lock the Legend. It's a D&D &D inspired um, fantasy world project. The main character is a pit fighter and uh, she roughs up a lot of people and also gets roughed up herself, which is why she's looking a little beat up here. She's resting after a rough fight. Um, yeah. That's all for now. I hope you have had a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, please like and subscribe and I will be back again soon with another video for you guys. Bye bye.